Montana winters, and we've seen multiple this year alone. MTN's Morgan Davies goes on special assignment in Big Sky to meet avalanche dogs and look at the training to find out why it's so necessary to have these skilled pups on the mountain. Go to work? Are you ready to go to work? Huh? Search! This is Lucy and Flapjack, two avalanche dogs used at Big Sky Resort. We do our best job as a ski patrol to maintain our inbounds terrain so there isn't an avalanche, but um, it, it's just an, an extra precaution to have. In any type of backcountry activity, a person should carry a beacon. However, there are times when people don't have one or they are turned off. So that's when these dogs would get to work. They do work off their sense of smell and they can cover a lot of terrain much faster than we can. And our only other option when the electronic devices don't work is to probe the whole slope and that can be very time consuming. In order to get to the point where the search and rescue teams can use the avalanche dogs, they have to go through all different types of training. One of the types of training for the dogs is burying ski patrol members in holes like this. They'll try to find their scent and then dig them out. Bringing them to follow this specific scent, kind of a human scent in the snowpack. Um, so we just train them to follow their nose and then really the training is on us as handlers to be able to read what they're doing. We train with them to evac. We put them in uh, sometimes uncomfortable situations just so that they can be comfortable. And these dogs can do just about anything the ski patrollers can. They'll ride the chairlift or a snowmobile and even ski down the hill. This is pretty much what their day consists of since the avalanche dogs may only be called out once every five years. But the nice thing is the dogs make all the training fun. So with that, we, we all enjoy continuing the training for the times that the dogs are needed. While waiting to get dispatched for an emergency, you can also find the dogs posing for the camera with skiers and snowboarders. In Big Sky, Morgan Davies, MTN News. And Morgan also tells us there are also avalanche dogs at Bridger Bowl and the Yellowstone Club.